Okay, let's talk about Tax Act for the 2022 tax return season because you may want to avoid Tax Act altogether. I'm going to tell you why, some notable features and drawbacks of this software. Ultimately, it was a little disappointing. We'll check it out in this video. Hey guys, it's Justine with the College Investor Investing and Personal Finance for Millennials. So if you're watching this video, I assume you might be interested in using Tax Act as your preferred tax software when you go to file your federal and state returns. However, there are some things that you just need to know for the 2022 tax return season. First, let's answer this question. Is Tax Act really free? And this is the kicker this year is that they got rid of their completely free filing offering. And now while you can file your federal tax return in some instances, you will have to pay $39.95 per state return. Now on the federal federal filing side, if you have W-2 income, unemployment income, or income from Social Security, that does apply towards the free federal version. You can also claim the child care tax credit, your stimulus payments, all within that federal version as well. But again, once you file your state return, you're going to have to pay about $40 to file that. So there really is no free option with Tax Act anymore. So what's new in 2022? Well, the big thing that I mentioned along with the free stuff is that there is no free version anymore. That's probably the biggest move that they've made since last year. And then also if you end up going with this software, we actually did find a positive here. They did improve their usability just a tiny bit on the inside of the dashboard and they had a really helpful side menu that I found just to kind of clean up and organize your tax return so that you can toggle back and forth between sections. In fact, let's go ahead and check out inside of the dashboard for Tax Act. I'll show you some of the features and the drawbacks. So this is what it looks like on the inside of the Tax Act dashboard. And one thing that you'll want to note here that's been an upgraded feature for 2022 is that they have improved their navigational system here on the left hand menu so that you can see all of the different subsections here and kind of toggle back and forth between the sections. So each section is really clearly marked here right in the middle. You can go through each of the different topics, review, and then click open this and then you can add forms here. And speaking of adding forms, another thing that's new is that not only can you still upload and import W-2 files, but you can now import 1099-B forms from brokerages or you can upload a CSV file from brokerages. So that's really handy and can be a big time, time saver in the Tax Act software. Now you're also going to see this really kind of easy question and answer guidance. So when I went to the W-2 section here, it says, depending on the employer's EIN, we may be able to import your W-2 from your payroll provider, which again is going to save you a ton of time. And again, here you can even just take a picture of your W-2 and then you can even get the link sent directly to your phone. You can also scan a QR code which makes this really easy to use as technology is upgraded. So here's an example of that really helpful question and answer guidance. So it just has really simple to follow language. I'm going through the health savings account portion right here and it's just asking um, some more questions about how I was able to apply those contributions and deductions and says was yourself an eligible individual with the same type of coverage? Yes, continue. So this is pretty helpful in terms of making it simple easy to follow. So now you can see I actually manually entered in the uh, W-2 
but you can also take a picture of it. I just didn't see a really easy way to upload, and maybe I just missed that, but I didn't see really an easy way to upload my PDF into the system. So I guess that would be one of the notable drawbacks is I couldn't really find a way to import that from a PDF file. Also, <laughs> I think the biggest pain and what I've mentioned with the pricing is that it's high cost given the functionality. So it's kind of up there with H&R Block and TurboTax in terms of pricing. But for user experience, you're going to be better off using TurboTax if you want that premium feel with the premium price or H&R Block. So Tax Act has the pricing of a premium software, but really it should be, it feels more of like a, a bargain tax software category. So on the inside, it's it's relatively easy to follow, but again, the user experience just isn't quite the same as what I've seen in TurboTax. I do find it nice that they have this little help center bar here that you can go and toggle back and forth between. You can even exit out of it and then get back quickly by clicking this help button up at the top. Again, this uh, left-hand menu is really nice, but I think the biggest drawback is it just doesn't have that premium feel for the premium price. And that's a quick look inside of the Tax Act dashboard. All right, the biggest takeaway here with Tax Act is that it comes with a premium price with a bargain style software on the inside. So really you would be better off if you wanna go with the premium route, going with something like H&R Block or TurboTax if you want that premium user experience on the inside because you're pretty much paying the same amount with those software versus what you get with Tax Act. So if you want to go the bargain route, which really this should be priced as a bargain software, then you're better off at looking at tax software like TaxHawk or TaxSlayer. And Tax Act really just didn't wow me anyways. There was nothing that what really caught my attention that said, oh, this is really helpful. When I look at things like TurboTax or H&R Block, that really has the wow factor and you're also paying more. But if you know how to do your tax returns right, you've had some experience with it, take a look at TaxLayer TaxHawk. Don't forget we have complete reviews of all of the tax software that I've mentioned in this video. Be sure to check all of those out at thecollegeinvestor.com.